defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube! Vintage you go here today featuring Murphy. And if you hear some yelling in the background, it's either him or my other cat that has made an appearance. And we have a 57 card ultimate, all ultimate rare first edition PSA return. So from 2004 to 2005, six time frame, that's where all these cards will be from. So we're going to get right into it and start. I've ordered them chronologically how I submitted them. So we have SOD, Mind on Air, and this got the Mint 9. A lot of these cards had the, a lot of the classic waxing on the back, so uh, I did expect a decent amount of nines on these, but they were clean other than the waxing, um, unless I missed something. Up next, we have Hammer Shot SOD. Gotta love the goblins there on the card, and this got the Mint 9 as well. So a really well-centered card. Just has that waxing on the back. And I sent in a second copy of this, and it got the Mint 9 as well. So I was hoping, hoping one of these two would, but they do. Pretty much based on the first grade I saw, that was going to dictate a lot of the, the grades on these cards, if they were going to let the waxing go or not. Ectoplasma SOD, once again, really solid card, just waxing on the back. So very mint pack fresh card. Spirit Barrier, Mint 9, another SOD Ulti, very nice card here, just standard waxing. <laughs> this one, um, let's see, are these out of order? Uh, how did these get numbered wrong? Maybe they did. Alright, oh, okay. So up next, this one uh, really, <laughs> really was un unfortunate. Null and Void, Mint 9, and I sent in three of these. I thought they all had a chance, and they all three got Mint 9s. So three, nine, Null and Voids. So that's um, about how the submission went. I did get some good grades um, further down the road here, so not all uh, gloom and doom. So here is our first 10. We have a 10 Hallowed Life Barrier. I've already graded one of these recently. I think I'm gonna keep this one, um, unsure, but leaning towards it, it is a uh, epic artwork there with the Wabaku uh, women on there. So probably gonna keep that copy this time. Then we are back on the nine train with this epic artwork, um, Suzuki or um, some people pronounce it differently. Samurai number four. But very nice epic artwork from Rise of Destiny there. 18 Trap Disposal Unit. Just popping on that hollow there with the Mint 9 due to um, some waxing and light scratching. And you can kind of see the hollow stamp there even. So little OC, a couple white nicks. Definitely, um, definitely not worthy. Definitely not tin worthy. Serial spell and one of my favorite orgs from RDS. We got the mint nine. Up next, a, a second tin necklace of command. A, re a retail ulti here, and this was and looks to be a very clean card and deserving of the tin. So nice hit there with the tin. Flint, little OC, so probably deserving of the nine. These hollows, uh, these ultimate hollows just pop on some of these. Tragedy, mint nine. So a lot of nines, no random like six, sevens, eights, I don't think, maybe maybe one eight, one eight. <laughs> and it's it's on a fitting card. Very metal morph, gonna keep this one. Just stunning artwork once again on the RDS ulti. Chain Burst got a 10. Uh, probably will sell this, but I mean, like this has some waxing on the back too, so I don't know. Um, it maybe everything else was just in pristine condition and, and um, they let the, the waxing slide. 
uh, Rottweiler CRV Mint 9. I'm going to keep this one in the collection, I believe, for now. Dark Catapulter, another machine from CRV. Probably will sell this one. Little OC, but other than that, you know, white nick at the top. So very hard to get tins anymore at PSA, which, um, it, you know, it shouldn't be gimmies. Cybernetic Magician, Mint 9, Little OC. So I think that's pretty fair. I'm probably going to keep that one as well. Skyscraper, pretty OC. So Mint 9, fair grade as well based on the centering. Jack's Knight, another 9. So, you know, can't be too upset with 9s, but the real... The real jump in value is when you do hit those tins. Um, Symphonian Alliance, we did hit the tin. Very nice artwork there on Elemental Energy. I, I don't know anyone crazy enough to be opening, you know, these type, type of boxes to try to find these cards. Level lim Limit Area A, Gym Mint Tin. So hitting some tins here. We'll get on a streak here, I think, of some tins. Um, after SOI here. Cyber Barrier Dragon, very cool machine, Mint 9. Um, probably going to keep this one in the collection as well. Love my machines, always always a sucker for a good machine. Demise, King of Armageddon, pretty OC, but other than that, very nice, and that's why it got the Mint 9. And then I think our lone Enemy of Justice card, Cyber Prima, or maybe Prima, um, Mint 9 for the Enemy of Justice Ultimate. All right, so we're about halfway. Get into some more RDS. I think I kind of screwed up the piles. Just, I mean, look at that haul. It just absolutely pops there with Mechanical Chaser and, two, and a Cannon Soldier. This one got the 9, and then I sent in a second one, and it got a 9 as well. So I've tried three times now to get a 10. And they've all got nines. I did buy a ten, but I wanted to grade one myself, and I had no luck. Uh, Flaming Eternity, notorious for waxing. I did grade a ten of this and sold it, and this one is the nine, and we'll sell it as well. All right, continuing on with the FET Shadow Slayer. Got the mint nine. Just beautiful stunning popping artwork though don't want to don't want to beat that into the ground but the artwork on these uh, with the ultimate foiling they they do just look great here is the lone eight of the submission brain jacker um i have history with this card and it has defeated me once again so near mint mint eight that will still probably stay in the collection cross counter love the behemoth there and this with the uh Desk Kangaroo from IOC, punching it there in the nose. This card will stay in the collection. Love those uh, two artworks. Penalty Game, FET. Some stunning, stunning, like almost looks like a like Hobgoblin or something from Spider-Man there underneath the, uh, the hood. Assault on GHQ. You got like a nobleman of cross out and some goblin attack force going at it and this got the mint nine as well all right into the lost millennium ultimate insect level 10 we got a gem and i sent two in and we got two gems so very happy with these two we'll be keeping one and we'll be selling one and down to the last pile probably about 15 cards Nine on the Heroes Co Sphinx. On the Cryo Sphinx, we did get the 10 though. I think I might have one already in my collection, so probably will be selling that one. The Grave Oha Gem Mint 10 sent in two, and we got two Gem Mint 10s. So definitely will be selling one and uh, Unsure what I'll do with the second one. DD Survivor Gem Mint 10. Gonna be keeping this one. Just stunning artwork there. And we'll be staying in the collection. 
Midshield Gardner, Jim at 10 times two. So did really well here with the Lost Millennium. And I uh, will be selling one and possibly selling both or uh, might keep the other one. Nitro unit left out of the 10 party. You got the nine on Nitro unit. But Hero Signal got the invite and got the 10. Uh, might keep this one as well. Very, very um, iconic artwork there with the little hero bat signal in the sky. And our last, the Lost Millennium card, Royal Surrender, got the 10 as well. So very happy with how they graded. And they don't have the waxing like the other ones do. So it, it makes sense as why they did better. All right, we do have a couple more EOJ cards. Majestic Mech Gory got the 10. So that one will be for sale. Life Equalizer will also be for sale as a Gem Mint 10. Dark City from Power of the Duelist. Probably going to keep this one. I just, I don't know. Don't know really what attracts me to it, but I do do like the card. And I don't really need to sell any of these. Um, so I'm, it's never going to be easier for me to, to obtain them than right now. So I'm going to keep the ones that I'm kind of on the fence with. Allure Queen level 5. Just popping right there with the flames behind her. Jim Mint 10 Spellcaster. Probably going to keep her as well. Degenerate Circuit, C-Dip, just popping. And Mint 9 there will sell it. Force of the Breaker, Volcanic Shell, the Pyro card. I do have Volcanic Doomfire in um, Mint 9. This got the gym at 10, so probably will keep it along with Doomfire. And then Zerata's Herald of Heaven, just absolutely Stunning right there. Jim at 10 and we'll be keeping it as well. So I'm going to keep too many, but, you know, I got in the game to be a collector and not, you know, a grader and a seller and a, a flipper or investor or whatever other terms, you know, people use around the hobby. So I am a collector first and I do love these cards and love grading them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this return. A lot of old school ultis. Um, very fun still to find these cards and grade them. Let me know your favorite card from the submission. And as always, thanks for watching.